All right, we're here with Natalie Land. Natalie, you just broke the UCF career steals mark with 80 stolen bases. How does that feel? It feels good. I mean, actually stolen, or stealing bases and running bases is my favorite part of the game. So to be able to get that record and go in the record book, it feels amazing. I talked to Coach a little bit earlier, and she said that basically since you've gotten here, she's pretty much given you the green light to go whenever you want. Do you do you have to get a sign, or can you just kind of go if you see if you feel feel like you can make it? Yeah, I mean, like she said, since freshman year, she's been like Natalie. I mean, be smart about it, but whatever you feel like you can get there, get there. So I usually try to time it out. Um, I don't try to go on the same pitch every time, but I try to move to second base so we don't have to waste the bunt and get me in scoring position. So just whenever I feel it, I. Now you've got 21 stolen bases this year. The single season record you actually already hold with 28. Do you think that you can break that this year? You got 21 games left. You would need nine more stolen bases. Do you think you can break that? Oh, I definitely think that's possible. Um, just have to get on base and then just keep stealing. Um, I mean, we, like so we have 20, 20 plus games left. So if I can just try to get on at least once a game, then I think that's possible. Now you seem to always slide head first. Have you ever slid feet first in your entire life? Actually, yeah, when I first got here, I never slid head, for, uh, head first until I got to UCF. And my freshman year, I, I slid in the fall, and I got a big, like, blood blister on my leg. And so ever since then, I was actually kind of been scared to slide feet first. So I just started sliding head first, and I feel like I'm faster like that now, so that's why. Well, I, I noticed when you slid in head first in the last game, it looks like, you would you get dirt in your eye or something? It looks like the trainer started to run out, and you, sh you shrugged him off pretty yeah, fast. Yeah, well, my helmet came off. Like, when I, swung, or when I dove in, um, the shortstop's head hit my helmet. And so it fell off, and I had a big bruise on my head, and it kind of had me shaken up for a minute. But then he came out, and I started feeling better. So. Well, you can't notice it, I can tell you that. So it <laughs> seems to be okay. That's good. So you're at 80 steals. Like I said, you've got 21 regular season games left. Maybe two or three tournament games, possibly some postseason. Do you think you can get the triple digits? That is definitely a goal. Um, but like I said earlier, just have to keep taking one game at a time and trying to help out my team. And then if I just happen to get to 100, then that'll be great. All right, real quick, talk about East Carolina. They're coming in this weekend. you got three games against them. They're 3-3 three and three in conference. We're 3-3 three and three in conference. How big of a series is this for us? It's huge. Every conference game is something that we have to try to take those series away. And ECU, they're two-time defending conference champs, and they're always a tough team to face. So we're looking to get out and get two wins early on them and then take the series. Now, we haven't really done that well against them all time. We're 4-17 and 17 against them all time, but last year, we actually won the series against them for the first time in school history. Do you think that maybe, I know there's not a lot of players from last year's team, but yourself and Vanessa, who's just off camera here, do you think that uh, you guys will be able to carry that over, some of that success you guys had last year into this year? I think so. Um, like, I mean, before they, they just had one up on us always. Um, but now, starting last year, we started playing well against them. And I believe we know how um, the key areas to beat them. And they're, I mean, they're a great team, but we're also a great team. So we just have to feed off of the last year and feed off of this year of a winning and just get out and get two wins at least. All right, well, that's Natalie Land. She's the all-time steals leader in UCF softball history. Thanks a lot, Natalie. Thank you.